Hello again. Today's lesson is going to be 11.3, area of trapezoids. All right, so let's start out. Do you remember the, the area formula for a trapezoid? Well, the way I remember it is because it has two bases. One base is here, the other base is parallel to it, right? It has a height, but you can't pick favorites. It's, 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 it's similar to uh, a rectangle or a square and saying base times height, but because there's two bases, you can't play favorites and you got to take half of it. So the formula is half of base one plus base two times the height. So it's still base times height in my mind, but because there's two bases, you're getting the average of the two bases and then multiplying by the heights. Now, knowing that formula, let's jump into some examples. We want to find the height of the trapezoid, okay? So we want the height of the trapezoid. We have the area is 115, one base is 12, one base is 8. Well, this is pretty simple. You just drop it right into the formula. Area equals 1 half base 1 plus base 2 times height. Area is 115 equals 1 half. Base 1 is 12. Base 2 is 8 times the height. We got half of 20 times the height, so equals the 115. Half of 20, that's 10h, equals 115. We come over here, we divide by 10, so the height equals 11.5 units. Because we don't have units, so make sure when you're doing questions, if there are, that you're going to be putting units on there. So find the area of the trapezoid. All right, we know the area formula. We got one half. One of the bases is eight, plus the other base is 16. And then, ooh, we need the height. So this is what we need. A question mark on there. So what we can do is we can draw in the height. And is this isosceles? If you answered yes, you are correct. These two sides are because the 45 and the 45 are the same. So what I would do is I would draw a rectangle in the middle. If that's 8, this is 8, which then, because this was 16 down here, 16 minus 8, 8 is left over for here and here together. So each piece is 4 and 4. Now that helps us because the 45, 45, 90 triangle, if we do notice that these sides are x, x, and x root 2. Well, we don't need the x root 2 side. We need the x, which is 4. So now we can say, oh, hey, the height is 4. And now we can do our formula and jump into half of 8 plus 16, which is 24, times the height of 4. Multiply that all together, and we get 48 units squared. How are things going? Good? so far? Hopefully. Question three, is it isosceles? You should ask yourself because we're trying to find the area once again. You notice the 260, so we say yes. So in the isosceles, draw it out. All right, we know this is 24. We don't know the spot up here, but we can find this length down here because of the 30, 60, 90 triangle. All right, when you look at it, superimpose the triangle again. This is x, this is x root 3, and this is 2x. So knowing that, what do we have? We have the 12, which is the 2x. So 2x equals 12. x equals 6. So that means that this length down here is 6. Since it's isosceles, this length is 6. If you take that away from it, this middle piece ends up being 12 because 24 minus the 6 minus the other 6 is left with 12, which makes this other base 12. We got the two bases. One's 24, the other one's 12, and we need the height. Well, if we know x is 6, the height ends up equaling 6 root 3. Put it all together, we got 1 half. Base 1 is 12, plus base 2 is 24, times the height of 6 root 3. Multiply it all together, simplify it, 108 root 3, and once again, we'll put units squared since there's nothing. Example four, find the area of a trapezoid. All right, I like to draw that in. I see some right angles. So what I can do here is I can make a shape of a square being right here by putting that in there. If that's 2x, this bottom piece is 2x there. All right, 
this is uh, across from the 60. So looking at this formula here, we know that this is the 30 angle. So this side's x, this side's x root 3, and this side is 2x, ooh, which it is 2x. So now knowing this, these sides are going to be x and x root 3 and 2x because 2x is equal to 2x. So let's simplify and get our formula here. We have 1 half. Base 1, which is the top up here, is 2x. Base 2, which is down here, is 2x plus x. That equals 3x, if you didn't know that, which you did, times x root 3, because that's the height of this thing. And let's figure out what we have. Well, we have 1 half. This is 5x times x root 3. Okay. Well, we have half of 5, so that's 5 over 2. Okay. We got x times x, which is x squared. And we have this root 3, which can't be combined with anything. So since half and 5 don't go together, we leave our answer as 5 root 3 x squared over 2 units squared for the area. That one was a little more challenging because there wasn't numbers, but I think it's still manageable for you to, to handle. All right, we have this idea of a midline theorem. What the midline uh, formula is, is it's halfway between. So this would be base 1, this would be base 2. The midline formula is the line right in the middle. Basically, in a sense, the average. So what you would do is you could take half of base 1 plus base 2 would equal the midline formula. Wait a second, I've seen that somewhere. Where have I seen that somewhere? Oh, uh, right, 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 right here in the formula. So basically, it's the midline times the height. So another way of finding the area for a trapezoid would be the midline times the height. Okay. How do you figure out the midline? You can, you can, you know, look through here and you can make similar triangles um, of saying that this side over here, AM um, and MD are proportional to BQ and QC because these are congruent and these are congruent because of that. Q is the midpoint here, M is the midpoint there. We can see that this triangle and this triangle will be um, similar to each other, which then causes that to be in the middle. All right. Well, now knowing the midline and knowing that formula, let's continue on. Example five, find AB. Okay, AB is up here, which is X, and then find the area. Because to be able to find the area, we need to do that. What do we do know is that um, this is going to be the midline to, to the figure, and they should have said that somewhere. So I apologize that it doesn't say that EF is the midline. So in here, it should say EF is the midline. Okay. Well, knowing that if EF ends up being the midline, what we can do is we can say, hey, half of x plus 16 has to equal your answer of 13. I would multiply by 2 to get rid of this. x plus 16 equals 26. x ends up equaling 10. So AB up there equals 10. Now we can go to the area formula, but first off, we need the height to this thing. And is this isosceles? Answer to that is no, because if this side's 4 and this side is 3, they're different. These pieces are congruent and these pieces are, but they're not. So, But what you do notice, though, is that if this is 45, this triangle right here ends up being a 45, 45, 90. We got x, x, and this side is x root 2. Well, if that's 4, this is 4 because that's the midline. So we could say x root 2 equal to 8, pi by root 2s times by top and bottom by root 2, we get 8 root 2 over 2, which reduces to 4 root 2 for the height. Area formula, 1 half, base 1 we figured out was 10, goes base 2, which is 16, times the 4 root 2. Simplify that all together, half of uh, 26 is 13 times 4 root 2, simplifies to 52 root 2 units squared. And we're done. 
Second to last, number six, find the height and the area of the trapezoid. This one's going to be run a little differently. We know that the area of the triangle, so the area of this triangle right here, ends up equaling 14. So the area formula that we learned yesterday for a triangle, so the area of a triangle, is half base times height, right? So we don't have the height for it. But the height for this triangle would be over here, which also would be, look at it, the height to the trapezoid. We do know that the, the median or the midline to the trapezoid is 15 here. So can we figure out how much DC is? Well, sure, because what do you know? Um, X plus 20, half of that has to equal 15 because that's the midline, which we just did over here. And we get um, X plus 20 is equal to 30, so X equals 10. So this piece down here is 10. Now what we're able to do is we're now able to figure out um, what the height is to it, because if we know this formula for the triangle, half, the base is 10, the height ends up equaling H, which is over here. So the H height goes in there, and then we're able to figure out that the area is 14. Okay, well, what, what do we get here? A little confusing, because I got 14 equals half of 10 is 5H divided by 5. H is equal to 14 over 5. Now, finally, we can find the area of the trapezoid. And the area of the trapezoid is 1 half. Base 1 is 10, plus base 2, which is 20, times the height of 14 over 5. Do all that magic, and you get your final answer of 42 units squared. And last but not least, if you want to take a quick break, or pause this and try and figure this out on your own. I want you to find the area of, of Texas to the nearest uh, square mile. All right. Remember, everything's bigger in Texas. Ha <laughs> ha. So you're going to find different uh, shapes here. What do you notice? This is a triangle. Couldn't tell. It's got three sides. It has sides of 200 and 200. So you're able to figure out, okay, the area formula is half. Base is 200. Height is 200. Multiply that together, you get 20,000 for that piece right there. Right here, it looks like a rectangle. And it's got sides of 170 and the sides of 440. Multiply that together, you get 74,800. What I notice here, this to me looks like a trapezoid, which we just did. These lines are parallel. So we do know um, that it's one half. Base one is the 245. The base two is the 300 here. Right? And then we need the height. We need this length right here for it. This length to me ends up being 390 because we know this is 170. So this is the 170 over here. Do the 560 minus the 170. And we're left with the 390, so that's the height. Do all that math, and we get 106,275. And last but not least, I would treat this as a big triangle. And this triangle is half. Base to me is the 560 times the height, which is 300. Half of that. 84,000, add it all up, 20 Gs, 7480, 106,275, and the 84 hundo. Put it together, final answer, lock it in, 285,075. And then they say what kind of units we are. Uh, yeah, they, did. they said uh, up at the top they were square miles. So we got miles squared. There's your lesson on trapezoids. A little longer than the other ones. But good luck to you, and we will see you in class.